All right, Dame. So we got a really good one here today. This is one. Gigi, <laughs> go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go. Come on. I mean, Gigi never does anything. No, I don't. Yeah, except okay. for filming. <laughs> yeah. All right. Take two. All right, Dan, we got a good one today. Uh, we've got some Sazerac rye, and I was super happy to find this. It was literally, you can't find this in Jacksonville. Um, and I just happened to walk into our Browdies down the street, and it was sitting on the shelf, and the guy, even the, the, the um, clerk, was like, you don't just see handles of these sitting on the shelf. Was it the last one? It was the oh. last one. And it was, it was, price you know reasonably it was 60 bucks i i thought it was reasonable but that's i never bottle. that's yeah, a big bottle that's a lot that's of, a, that's lot, a lot of rye there. a lot of rye a lot of size uh, buffalo trace products you just don't see them sitting on the shelf so uh it came home i got a little side eye from uh the accounting department <laughs> but uh there it is it's being expensed accounting department so don't worry about <laughs> yes, it yes it is <laughs> All right, Dame, I'm going to go ahead and pour it. You give yeah, us some... Uh, you need some help? I mean, that's a big... Now, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I don't get it. All right. Look, like it that's going to be a big pour right there. Yeah, <laughs> just exactly what I need. But like Ken said, this is Buffalo Trace uh, 90 proof. It's an undisclosed mash bill, uh, but it's thought to be Buffalo Trace's low rye rye mash bill, which is 51% rye, 39% corn, Ooh. and... Uh, 10% Pepper. malted barley. Peppery. Um, the Sazerac family name, where does it come from? These guys, uh, they start off over 400 years ago in the 1600s in France, the Cognac region of France, had a distillery, a vineyard. Um, they came to the United States and they are based out of New Orleans now. The Sazerac, it is the, it's part of America's first cocktail. It includes um, I had to write this down. It's a mixed drink of whiskey, per now. You gotta say it right. Not per no. No, not per no, like I first said it <laughs> off per camera. Nod. Per now. Uh, syrup, bitters, lemon, and it's from New Orleans. Uh, like I said, these guys are in New Orleans, the Sazerac house. You can go visit it. And uh, in 2009, Sazerac uh, took over a couple of facilities and brands. Uh, I think Constellation Brands. So they've got two distilleries in Kentucky, uh, the Glenmore Distillery in Owensboro, Owensboro, which I butchered that one, and uh, the Barton 1792 Distillery in Bardstown. So Ken, I Listen, think I've talked wiki. enough. Wiki. I just learned that. You're just dropping the knowledge today. All right, I'm ready to drink. Let's, let's I've get earned it. it. You've earned, earned it. it. Let's give it a little. <laughs> give it a little nose here. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, it can't be any worse than the last one. And, uh, <laughs> oh, that smells good. That really does smell good. You know, and, and it, when you you started talking about mash bill, I didn't mm. even look at the bottle. I just mm. assumed it was 100% rye. Mm. Uh, but it's, it's definitely not. Mm. A, it's a low rye kind of Correct. thing. Correct. Yeah, and I'm getting a lot of like citrus zest. Like right out, like popping through the top of this thing. Yeah, I can, yeah orangey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, just orange. You know, it's pleasant. You get some caramel. It's got some serious legs on yeah, it. Yeah, um, it smells pretty hey, good. Hey, Vogel, can you get over there and tell me when I've actually got it in the camera? You're good. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're getting assistance from Allie, also known as the... I can't say it. They're the fluffer. <laughs> I'll just say it. The beachside bro fluffer. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. So this was one of the ones when I went went out to Oklahoma, the, it was just sitting on the shelf, bottles of it. And I was like, and, and I just, I only had carry on uh, and didn't have anything to pack uh, in, you know, to pack pack it in there I would have bought them all. But, um, and so I, I just figured, I actually had told my daughter, if she ever came back, to the, to go buy them. Uh, so, man, this is really good. It's really good. The uh, the zest, the orange on the nose, um, it carries over into the palate. It's fruity. Sweet. It's sweet. You get you know you get caramel. Very. It's got sweet. A, a very a, a pleasant mouthfeel. Like it's 
it's I mean you can medium, tell by the legs. It's, it's yeah, it's a medium. It's it's very very uh it's just a pleasant, easy drinking. It's good. It's, you gotta, I can see why Brockmeyer was carrying this around and, uh, <laughs> you know, drinking it, you know, in his minor league after he'd been relegated there. But Do his best Harry Carey impression. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dame, let's just give our final thoughts. What do, you, what do you think about this guy? I think it's pretty damn good, Ken. It's very approachable. It's uh, it's pretty sweet. It's got a good mouthfeel. I mean, it's sweet. just it's got in the orange zest. Uh, it's just really very good. Cit very citrusy. Citrusy. It's got the typical, you know, the caramel, the vanilla. Um, it's just got some complexities. It's, it's, a, it's a just nice good. low rye yeah. kind of thing where you're not just you know you're not getting that uh, uh, spearmint floral kind of stuff. It's like you said, citrus yeah. is, uh, is is right on it. Do I need to go over the, the mash bill again, Ken, or you got it now? No, I think we, that was in the technical difficulty part, yeah. thank God. Uh, <laughs> it's a low rye mash bill, blah, blah, blah. So uh, anyway, um, we've had a couple of these in between. Mm -hmm. So uh, while we're trying to flush out technical difficulties, uh, Dame, I think we can both agree this is yeah a final word. thoughts two thumbs up uh definitely go pick this one up i mean it's good if it's you delicious. can find it get it's, it it's, it's very crushable i'm i am so glad it was on the shelf and yeah crushable is the right word you can do some damage with this guy and i plan to and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do damage yeah on that note thanks for watching us as always uh like subscribe ring the bell check us out on insta at beachside bros jacks and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hey, and we're also going to be posting on Insta uh, the beef shoulder taco thing with a little bit of tequila and oh, yo, tequila. Something like <laughs> tequila, the fluffer comes out. So, anyway, we're going to be posting. My wife likes big, tequila. Yeah, she likes tequila. <laughs> and, Just a little. <laughs> no, a lot. A lot. So, anyway, thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers.